Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get input from a user in Java. One of the cool things about working with a programming language is we can write programs that users can interact with. And any cool program is gonna allow the user to like input some information or you know they'll be able to control different aspects of the program. And I'm just gonna give you guys a basic introduction into how you can allow users to affect the program by entering in information. So this is gonna be a really fun tutorial and it's gonna be awesome to be able to make our programs interactive. The first thing that I need to do in order to get user input is I need to create something called a scanner. And a scanner is basically a special entity in Java, which is going to allow users to input information into our programs. So the way I create a scanner is just by saying scanner, and we can give this a name. So I'm gonna say keyboard input, and this is gonna be the name of the scanner. So we're, we're essentially just creating like a variable here. And then I wanna set this equal to new scanner, and inside of these parentheses right here, I just wanna type system.in. So let me try to explain this line a little bit. Um, what I'm doing is I'm saying scanner. So I'm creating a scanner, I'm calling it keyboard input, and I'm setting it equal to a new scanner. And inside of here, I'm just putting system.in. Now, you'll notice here, I'm getting these little red lines underneath this scanner, and it says scanner cannot be resolved to a type. And down here we have this little option. It says import scanner java.util. I'm just gonna click this. And what you'll see is when I go up to the top of my file here, we have this new line. It says import java.util.scanner. Basically what's happening is here, here is we're trying to use this scanner inside of our program. But in order to use that scanner, we have to import it into our program. So in other words, I have to tell Java like, hey, can you go out and get the scanner for me so I can use it inside of my program? So don't be too intimidated about this import statement. Basically, all it's saying is we want to include the scanner inside of our program so that we can use it. So just type out this import statement up here, and now you'll be able to use this scanner. Once we have our scanner set up, we want to prompt the user for information. So I wanna print something out on the screen that tells the user what I want them to input. In this tutorial, we'll just create a very simple little app which will ask the user for their name, it'll grab the name, and then we'll be able to print out, hey, name. So the first thing I wanna do is print out a prompt. So I'm gonna say system.out.print. And I'm just gonna say print here. So previously in this course, we've been using println. What println does is it'll take whatever you put inside of the parentheses, it'll print it out, and then it'll print a new line. But in our case, we just wanna keep everything on the same line, so I'm just gonna say print, and then inside of these parentheses, I can just say whatever I wanna print. So we'll say, enter your name. And actually, I'm gonna put a colon here, and we'll put a space. So now that we have the prompt, we can actually get the input from the user. So here we can use that scanner. And remember, I just called the scanner keyboard input. I can say keyboard input dot next line, and then open and closed parentheses. And what this is gonna do is it's basically gonna say, okay, here we have this keyboard input. I'm gonna wait until the user enters in a line of text. So the program is gonna stop here at this command and it's gonna wait until the user enters in a line of text. And what we wanna do is we wanna be able to grab that line of text and store it inside of a variable. So we can create a variable over here and we'll just say string name is equal to keyboard input dot next line. So basically what's happening is whenever the user enters in a line of text, we're gonna store whatever they enter inside of this string called name and now we'll be able to access whatever they entered by just accessing this variable. So let's come down here, we'll make another print statement, system.out.print, and this time I'll just use print line. And all I wanna do is print out, hey, and then we'll print out the name. So I'll say, hey, name, and then we can print out like an exclamation point. 
And so now what should happen is the user should be able to enter some text. We'll store that text inside of this variable called name, and then we'll print out the variable and basically say hi to the user. So I'm going to run this program. You'll see over here in our console, we have this prompt. It says, enter your name. So I can just come over here and I can type in my name. So I could type in Mike. And now when I click enter, I'll have entered a line of text. So that text will now show up and it'll say, Hey Mike. So I click enter and it says, hey, Mike. So we're actually able to enter text into this program. I'm gonna run the program again and I'll show you we can do this with another name. So I could say like, hey, Andrea, and it'll say, hey, Andrea. So I'm typing in input, the program's grabbing that input and using it to print something else out. So let's do something else. Let's say we want the user to be able to enter in their name and also their age. And this will give us a chance to use another little function. So we're printing out enter your name, we're grabbing the name, and now I wanna do something similar. So I'm just gonna copy this and we'll move this on to the next line here. So instead of saying enter your name, I'm just gonna say enter your age. And now we'll be asking the user to enter in their age. So what I can do is I can actually specify to Java that we want to accept a number input. So over here, I'll just say age. And instead of saying dot next line, I'm gonna say dot next int. This is basically gonna tell Java that we want to grab the next piece of input and turn it into an integer. So we're expecting them to enter an integer into age. And then over here, I can just say int age. So now we can also print out the age because we'll have gotten that. So we can say, hey, name. And then we can say, you are age, years old. So we're basically just saying, hey name, you are whatever years old. So we're just saying how old they are. So let's run this program and you'll see it has, okay, enter your name. So I'll enter my name and enter your age. So I'll enter my age and now it'll say, hey Mike, you are 23 years old. So I actually messed up the string there a little bit, but you guys get the point, right? It says, hey, Mike, you are whatever years old. We're basically giving this program some input. So over here, I said keyboard input dot next line. And that's because I wanted the line of text that they gave me to be converted into a string. Down here, I said next int because I was expecting them to enter an integer. So then I just said age. But I could also, if I wanted, just say next line over here. Um, but I would have to make this a string. So that's the basics of getting input from a user. And you can do this you know, as many times as you want. Basically, you just put out the prompt, you have them enter something in, you store what they entered in into a variable, and then you can print it out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.